Hello and welcome to Back to One with me, Brandy. I'm so grateful you're here. Today we're gonna do another reading, but this is gonna be for adults. So uh, I'm gonna do a pick a pile, whichever uh, you're drawn to. Go ahead and listen to that and I will try my hardest to get the minute markers in there for you. So um, we have a cross and we have a bow. Okay, so go ahead and across their bow, I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and start with the cross. The first group is going to be the cross. Like I said before, this is an adult reading. If you are under 18, please click off this video. If you are offended by cuss words or sexual illustration, I ask that you please click off. Um, here we go. So we're going to start with the cross. Let's see. Spirit and all Too many, way too many. Let's see. You can uh, you bless this Two more cards, please. And if you Two tens, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. Okay. That card talks about um, our tears of pain are, is, gives, that's what gives us the growth. Shoot. This is also a Gemini card. The Eight of Chalice is looking, um, overlook the exterior because the interior might be what you're looking for. The, there's a attachment with the Ten of Cups. Three of Wands, kissing, okay. Sometimes kissing um, brings back a feeling that we thought we lost. And the full card, this is like, um, ooh, how did they say it in the book? The full card, oh yes, surrendering to love, an erotic outburst, ooh, magic accent frees us into, from the uncertainty into the urge of surrendering to love. Isn't that beautiful? Now this three of wands, this is also talking about um, the force of understanding and desire is craving help to rediscover a feeling that you thought you lost. Oh, that's exactly what I said. Two tens and a zero, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see what else they have to say. Cross group. Back to one.
We just received the world card with the fool. Ooh, okay. Okay, so. Ooh, okay, so it's saying like the exterior of the person might be um, tough and underneath is like innocent childlike, okay? Maybe it's just a persona of tough man. Um, we do have the devil card. So maybe there's something that you're holding on to that isn't good for you. Like um, it could be addictions, it could be codependency, um, people. This is also a Capricorn energy, so maybe this is Capricorn, um, some type of, okay, so we have the Knight of Cups with the Three of Wands. These are, this is Scorpio energy, but this is also speaking about, um, following your heart, following your heart. And, the world card. You're allowed to shake it up. You can make it how you want it. This is your glass globe. Anything else from this amazing Woo! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I said anything else and they threw them all out. Wow. Okay, let's see here. So we have pressure or loss of will. Pressure from others, loss of will with the two of wands. Um, you're feeling adventurous. Maybe you've been stuck in bed. Or maybe you're a Leo and this is like letting you know, like even though you're experiencing pain, that there is healing coming. This is also a sign of meditation. Um, maybe even not seeing that situation is more dangerous than it appears to be. Maybe you've just been isolation and you're feeling adventurous and some kissing is going to awaken something and then you're going to be able to follow the, the commands of love. Woo! I mean, that bunch is a little... Okay, so we have um, the Emperor and the Three of Wands. So this is an Aries energy with um, some pause and evaluating time. The foxes are, um, like, they're sneaky, okay? Maybe uh, some sneaky stuff's been going on. But the power is yours to command. Pause and evaluate. Pause and evaluate. Um, with the Ace of Cups, that's like a, it's a, like a loving heart to go with them. So and that would be four and four, forty-four. Bottom of the deck is the seven of discs. This is pay attention to details and planning ahead. Okay, this is paralyzing fear. Giving away all your power. Triumph, the sword of truth. Okay. Disconnected from the world. Dreamy, dreamy, this is Taurus energy. Dreamy. Clouded vision, not seeing clear. But if you plan ahead and pay attention to details, you have uh, success on, you're on your way to success with that. And then celebration, okay, hey, don't give up hope. Those are amazing together, a whole line of them, you guys. Let's see what badass rebel card they can give us to go with these beautiful cards. Awesome. 
Like I just said, some good shit's about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. The fear, the giving away your power, the disconnect from the world, the clouded vision. Don't let this shit fuck it up, okay? Don't let these fuck it up. That person, that project, that idea is waiting. Get after this shit. The world has your back. Wow. What does this group need to hear from themselves for January 21st, 2020? From this amazing affirmation deck, the cross group. Okay, so there's an ideal partnership. You can pause and read that to yourself. My candles. Shoot. Ideal partnership. Some generosity. The clarity. Remember that sort of truth? There's some clarity coming. Remember, follow your heart, the commands of your heart, follow it. Good things are coming, I told you. Get out there and hug a tree, you guys. Go sit, go stomp on the ground, something. Out, just get outside. You have beauty. with vitality, okay? You're strong, heroic, radiant cells. These are great, you guys. That's a oracle message for the group. Okay, roll up your sleeves and finish what you started. That's what she means. Whether it's cleaning out the closet, making a grocery list, washing your hair, Mystic Mermaid. They're both green too. Ooh, I'm gonna see what the book says with the... Oh, this is cool. So, sage your house, sweep, you know, sweep the floors, get rid of some stuff, especially before uh, the moon Friday, get rid of some stuff, clear out the clutter out of the corners, um, before you... Before you start cleaning out everything, go ahead and say this four times. Out with the old, the saying goes, and end it thus in and the, with the new. As I begin, a fresh wind blows, and soon my life has a new view. Ooh! Oh, yes, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so she's all about treating yourself. Do it, whatever just came to your mind. How would you treat yourself? An extra hour of sleep, some clean sheets, uh, a walk in the park. Remember, you're supposed to go hug a tree. Okay, when you're done treating yourself, send some treating, you know, send some love to somebody else. 
doesn't have to be big. It could be like a piece of candy. It could be a hug, a smile, a high five, some encouraging words. There's so many ways to let people know. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, letting me pull your cards. I'm going to clean up real quick, and then we're going to go to pile number two. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Seven minute marker for the bow. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna go ahead and see what sexy cards we can get for this group for the Back to One Collective January 21st, 2020. So the first card we flipped was the Temperance. This is a Sagittarius card. This is also speaking about uh, the magic of plants. Okay. We have we have rolling about. We have some jealousy, the Tower moment, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so maybe you're Sagittarius and you're getting a little bit jealous. <laughs> okay, so we got some two people rolling about. Okay, rolling about. We have somebody else that's jealous. Um, you can see those people in the background. The tower moment. There's another person. They were like visualizing. They were like visualizing the worst. With the two of wands, this is two people breaking bread over, you know, over a fire, not losing themselves. King of chalice. The bottom of the deck is the king of chalice. He's satisfied. This is a Pisces. It is a Pisces. Let's see. I'm going to see what else the book says about. Um, A relationship must be fueled by surprises, all and constant battering. Bantering, sorry. Or maybe you're a Pisces. Thinking about a Sagittarius. Let's get some clarifiers. Oh, 
I'm so sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Any clarifiers from this beautiful deck for the cards that lay before us for the group with the bow? The bow group. Thank you. Okay, so the Emperor, your, your power is in your command. Okay? Power is in your command. That's on the... It's an Aries energy on top of the Tower card. Okay, let's see. Any other cards from this beautiful deck? It's clarified for the cards that lay before us. Ooh! Okay, so this is definitely an Aries energy. This is um, like a motherly figure. This is somebody that attracts people through beauty and charisma. So we have two Aries energies. Um, and with the temperance, we have the Ten of Cups. So that's future friends, family, and happiness. And we have on the bottom of this deck, we have the full card. So follow the beat to your own drum. Your heart is the only thing that that can lead you best lead you okay there's some um, planning and paying attention to details we have a full new moon I'm sorry we have a new moon coming up in this Friday so maybe more is gonna Ooh, okay so Oh wow. Seven nine or nine seven nine seven. We got nine seven nine seven. Man, they're creative. Okay, so pay attention to detail, planning ahead, um, contentment and solitude. Okay? self-discipline scattered energy okay don't go chasing the rabbit down the hole self-discipline gather your resources I will put the link below for the 97 because they're so cool with it Or maybe you're um, like the motherly figure and you're having just don't just don't forget that the power is in your hands okay and um, jealousy does kill is a spiritual killer so if you are finding yourself in that situation and I totally suggest that you um, use this use the new moon you can write down the emotions that you feel or the negative thoughts that come up you can rewrite them into a positive manner that way it helps you and if you know that projecting is a real thing so it's not only just helping you when you help yourself heal okay so but this does have double Pisces energy and double Aries energy straight off the rip they told you to stop talking shut your mouth and listen That was on the jealousy card. <laughs> I'm giving you some good advice. All right. Okay, so we got um, make better choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. And you're winning. You got good thing going. Don't ruin that shit.
let's see what Af let's see what we need to hear from ourselves. What does the group of the bow look like going back to one? January twenty first, twenty twenty. Need to hear from ourselves. most amazing one in the deck magic hopefully you can read that I believe in magic I am winning I'm receiving the ten of cups making better choices you guys these are great these are great let's see if there's an oracle message um see if there's an oracle message Ooh. serenity holy cow serenity okay i'm gonna get the book real quick Wear some purple if you have purple. Purple panties, purple nail polish, purple eyeshadow. Okay, so when facing chaotic and troubled times, there's numerous approaches. Sometimes a strong stance is necessary, other times a gentler hand is better. In this case, you are being advised to rise above the situation and seek the counsel of your heart. Don't waste energy by fretting, worrying, or becoming angry. Pull back. Ask the universe to show you a peaceful approach. This may also be an opportunity for you to grow spiritually. See how she's standing on a pillar and the water is chaotic underneath of her? Uh, you can do a meditation, that, you know, like spreading your toes, filling the cold water. Um... light of peace i call on thee i seek peace and peace i need let me rise above the sea fill this charm my cry please heed okay the charm you wrap it in white ribbon with lavender oil rose quartz amethyst and silk usually white or purple clear quartz adds strength to the charm place this bundle under or place the bundle on a table and light the white candle, allowing your voice to grow softer and quieter each time you say the following verse three times. And I will add that to the description below also. So you can snap out the candle, you can wear the charm around your neck. You want to have the charm as close to your heart as possible. So that is beautiful, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Ninety-seven. If that means anything to you guys, I can't wait to see what that angel number means. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you soon. Thank you.